and it will recalculate. Okay, because this is telling me to it's telling me to turn around. Yeah, but it'll recalculate. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna follow. Volt Volt said seven straight ahead. All right. Yeah, so it'll eventually recalculate. And if not, then we're gonna give you shit for the next year and a half. Just saying. I just, I just, you know, just saying. She's, she's never gonna leave the gas. I know, right? She's, and this has been great. And this is a great ride. Let's just enjoy yeah. it. Yeah. Don't worry, Anna. This is it's awesome. Great. Let's just enjoy well, it. I just, I just it's part of the adventure. You know? We'll get there. Hey, as long as nobody gets bitten by a snake, it's all good. Did you have to talk about snakes? <laughs> I can't stand snakes, man. I can, okay, you know, I can yeah, deal no. with a lot of stuff, but I can't deal with snakes. Shit. Sometimes the GPS is this and going in a particular route. I know. Like when we met last week to go to a pool field, yeah. it didn't allow me to go certain routes, certain roads. He it thinks, it, it thinks he knows better than you. You should update your maps, too. <laughs> Tell the GPS who's boss. amount of people you're going to see on the road on Memorial Day. Yeah. Oh, crap. Hey. Gotta be able to make it. No, oh, thank you, Donuts. That's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> we keep the pulls all the way. Too good, thank you, Donuts. <laughs> oh, funny. too funny. So yeah, so we just stopped at a Dunkin' Donuts to get something to drink, and you know, I was telling Volts, I'm the old guy in our group, yet this dude has a geezer cup holder down on the uh, left side of his heritage. Volts, how the heck does that thing work? Um, it's called convenience. <laughs> yeah, but you you wear a you wear a full face helmet, so like. How the hell do you, you drink while you've got that full face helmet on? Um, well, if you get a drink with a straw, you can try to try to get the straw underneath your helmet to your mouth and then sip through it. <laughs> <laughs> it's not ideal, but no, it's better than nothing. So I just know one day I'm going to be riding behind you. I'm going to see you reach down. You're gonna put that damn straw up inside your helmet, hit a bump and poke your eye out and go flying off the bike. Yeah, hopefully not. <laughs> <laughs> I also don't wanna stab my own mouth. <laughs> yeah, jam it down your throat and start gagging. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, they have its downsides. <laughs> I don't know, man. I want to hook a camera up and watch you use that thing. That'd be kind of cool. <laughs> I mean, I, I got to admit, you know, I'm kind of jealous sometimes of the, those guys on those big ass bikes with their little uh, three quarter helmets or whatever. They can just drink their coffee on the go. Those do seem convenient, yes. I don't think in my entire life I've ever ridden with anything other than a full face helmet though. Me neither. I used to have I used to have a gringo with no um, like the regular gringo with no shield. That's as much air as I've I've ridden. Um, I mean as open as I've been with a helmet. I would feel nervous about having a full face at this point. Yeah, one of my first helmet was, uh, I don't know, it, was, it wasn't probably even a name brand, man. I was young and dumb, but it, uh, I had a snap-on smoked shield. It was solid black, and then I had a smoked mm -hmm. shield, and everybody made fun of me and called me Darth Vader. Oh. I used to ride to work with my helmet, my suit and tie and dress shoes. <laughs> nice. And then I had my briefcase 
like bungee corded to my sissy bar. <laughs> <laughs> what bike did you used to have at that time? Uh, that was a, a old um, Yamaha. It was a smaller bike. I think it was like around a 250. But I just needed, um, I was married at the time. I didn't need to go that far. My commute was just a few miles. And instead of getting a, a second car, I ended up just picking up a motorcycle. So I could go back and forth to work. It was really convenient. Really had a, you know, I used to have a good time on that. It was, it was a lot of fun, but you know, I do remember that, that was, we were out in Kansas back then. And I remember, uh, one time in particular, storms are really bad in Kansas. And I got caught in a huge thunderstorm riding to work one day in my suit and tie with no rain gear and my dress shoes. It wasn't pretty. I've, um, I heard this story about a girl who got caught in a storm in Kansas and ended up in, in a different place. She had a dog. Her name was Toto. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, it was, yeah, you know, it was kind of weird. I, you know, I spent like seven years in uh, in the Kansas City area. I had a roommate for a while, and I know we were we were pretty stupid, man. These uh, cloud formations would come in, and it was kind of weird. You always knew when tornadoes were coming because. You could see the clouds kind of like going in layers, different directions, you know, and then up and down, kind of weird motion. And, you know, we were dumb. We'd be out by the car in the apartment complex drinking beer and watching the <laughs> clouds move up and down, looking for tornadoes. Not one of my prouder moments. So what were you saying about you read an article about why it's called a jiffy stand? Yeah, so there was an article on the Motorcyclist magazine, and it was actually an extract from a video from Rodzilla. The name jiffy stands come from the original patent. The patent said that it's, at the time, the way that motorcycles would stand on their own, it was a huge uh, system that they had on the back wheel where you had to mount it over. The jiffy stand was, so you can actually uh, stand the bike up in a jiffy. Huh. Um, that's where the name comes from. So it's, it's just a system that you just activate with your foot uh, in a jiffy. That, that was it. Oh, that's pretty cool. And, I, I never kind of figured that out because I always called it a kickstand. And this was, this was literally from 100 years ago. The system, though, the original patent, how, how it was, uh, the, how the whole mechanism works, it's still used today. So it's not like in European or Japanese bikes, where the, the pivot just swings right. and nothing happens. When Harley Davidson, once you swing the pivot, and you um, you lean the bike, and the uh, the jiffy stand will actually engage, and it will move to like you it will um, what is it? There's a mechanism that actually moves uh, and engages towards the bike. Pretty cool. That's cool. See, you never know these things, man. Yeah. Hundred years of history, people forget. Yes, they do. This is pretty. I don't even know where we are. I have no clue where we are. I, I'm pretty sure Anna doesn't know where we are either. She's just <laughs> following the GPS. Yeah, she's just doing what Mr. Tom Tom say to do. <laughs> I'm glad everything's green again. Turn on your camera, this is cool. I've got it on, yeah. Nice. It's a 
huge detour. Yeah, not, look at that up there, dude. That's cool as shit. Yes. Oh, check this out. Watch <laughs> your speed. <laughs> uh, that's hilarious. You know you're in Maryland when you see those, because in Virginia, they don't, they don't put those because radar detectors are illegal. Wow. I, you know, I, you give it, your... I give it to Anna, man. She, uh, she finds some awesome back roads whenever we go yeah. anywhere. Yep. Great job, Anna. This is amazing. Cows. Happy cows. Question. Does your bike get hot to the point where it bothers you? Um, you know, it does not. When I when I first got the uh, the fat bob, I had a bit of an issue, like a lot of people complain about, with the my inner thigh on the um, on the right side, on the exhaust side, getting pretty pretty hot. Really? But you know, I, I after switching out the pegs and the brake lever, my my legs actually in a different position, so I'm not it's not quite as close to the bike. But I did notice that <clears throat> even before I did that, after I did the uh, the stage one and and did the tuning, uh, it seemed like that that heat situation that I was having initially went away. That's good. But all that said, that was last summer, right? So I don't know. I've been. It's funny. Somebody just asked me about this um, a couple of days ago on the channel because they're they're burning the crap out of their leg. Really? Uh, so I don't know. I figure we'll see. You know, when the weather gets hot, you know, if that comes back. Interesting. How about your seat? Do you feel the heat underneath? No, no. I've, I've oh, never. Oh, what's I, happening? I've never had that. I don't know what's going on. But there's, there's some, a lot of cars behind. You yeah, want to pull over? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh. I don't know. You're leading. <laughs> Are you following your GPS? Turn around. But because there was a sign that said detour. Oh. So I made a left. The GPS is confused. You think? Huh? You think that the GPS is confused? Yeah. Okay. The GPS is telling her to turn around because of the detour. Watch out, watch out, guys, watch out. Uh. There are my hazards. There's not much I can do. Yeah, we're, uh, <clears throat> well, the guy saw oncoming traffic. So. Sorry. Sorry. I would, I would buy an ice cream right now. Yeah. You know what? I'm going to get behind you and, uh, kind of make sure people see us. <laughs> Thank you. So, you know, just a few miles ago, we were giving Anna all this credit for always finding these amazing roads, and little did we know it's because she gets lost following the GPS. <laughs> <laughs> Anna, it looks like if we keep going straight, we're we're fine. Yeah, we're going to end up in seven. All right, here we go again. Let's see. I think that's going to be the opening of the video right there. <laughs> I shot that whole thing. That's awesome. I'll be right behind you. Damn, I thought something was falling off her bike, man. Because <laughs> she was just ragging on her old sports or about, you know, 
Her with that old guy talking about how, uh, oh, I shouldn't have said that because he may watch the video. Her with that, was, that young gentleman 